happy day, friends. My voice, <laughs> you can tell it's still trying to come back. It's trying its best. Um, but we have had an actual, like, really busy day here. And when I say we, I more so mean Austin. I got up at 7.30 with Micah, quickly realized that I was still very tired, um, just not feeling myself. And I went in, in to, back to the bedroom and said, Austin, told Austin, man, I can't even think clearly, told him, like, hey, I really feel like I need to go back to sleep. Can you get up with the girls today? He was so amazing and let me sleep in until 11, you guys. That is pretty unheard of for me. I feel like once every month or so, I need to sleep for an ungodly amount of time. But it also seems to line up with when I am ovulating. So that happens to me now. I track my cycle pretty down to the T because that is our form of birth control. I feel a little extra sluggish, some brain fog, just not not my best self when I am ovulating. But that all kind of lined up at the same time and I just needed some extra rest. So he let me sleep until 11. Austin, <laughs> the poor guy, you guys. He had phone call meetings. He had emails that needed to be like back and forth trying to figure things out. He had planning, he had like just so many things that he had to do today. And I told him like, babe, you could have woken me up. Like if it wasn't a good day, you could have woken me up. And he said, no, you needed to sleep. It's okay, I got it done. So he deserves an extra special award today. <laughs> that was the other big thing that Austin had to do today. Babe, come out here when you're done. Obviously, I slept in like a princess. Our promotion for Happy Day Apparel started this morning. Oh, and yeah. for whatever reason, it wasn't working correctly. Yeah. Austin had to do that on top of everything else that he had to do. So the promotion is that you, if you buy anything from happydayapparel.com, you get a free pin pack. I don't know how it happened here. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know how it how you figured it out. I ran a test right after it posted, like the promotion, and sorry, my hair's I haven't done it yet. So <laughs> yeah, I give noticed. me a little forgiveness here. Um so I so after it posted, I actually ran a test to see if it would work, and the pins didn't hug. automatically add to the cart like I was wanting. So one of you I noticed um got in super quick, got their order placed, and didn't add a pin. I just want you to know if any of you guys placed orders and the pin pack wasn't automatically added, we're shipping them out automatically already. We've handled that on the back end, so don't worry. Your pins are gonna come with your order. But it has since been fixed, and now if you go over to Happy Day Apparel, it should automatically add those pins to your cart. And on top of that, for our Happy Friday sale, we still have free shipping on US order orders over $60. So, Awesome time. Lots of good stuff right now. And today, our blush hoodie is yes. back in stock. Blush hoodie is officially back in stock. Blush hoodie is back. I know it's been a long wait for those of you guys. You guys have been really patient, but it's like all that shipping issue stuff and like everything, it's just wild. It's wild how, how much longer things are taking now. But they are back, um, thankfully, before Christmas. So if you were looking to get one of the blush hoodies, they are back. The necklace is back in stock as well. Oh, here it is. We still have our Happy Vibes shirt that is in stock, and this is one of my favorites now. But yeah, uh, just to top off his crazy morning, he had to troubleshoot all of that. How do you do it all, babe? You take care of work, you take care of finances, you take care of me and the girls. That reminds me. <laughs> <laughs> and you somehow do it. I'll keep in a smoking hot bod. Oh, please, my one ab. <laughs> I'm very grateful for you. I'm very grateful for I you. I love you. Oh, it's like Thanksgiving. We're, are we telling what we're grateful for? Yeah, speaking of, I have to try my hardest to get Mike to give me things other than Spider Man, <laughs> kitty cats, doggies. She said leaves today. She did. I I prompted her to do the house. She she wanted smoothies. So I what? Uh, smoothies and Minnie Mouse. <laughs> we like, gotta keep that. In my oh yeah, we'll keep it. In my defense, I 
well, like we had to catch up on almost 10 days today so I think her mind was like going through the characters that she likes. But really it's about like getting her to think about what she loves and teaching her about what what, what things can we be grateful for? Like what little things day to day can we be grateful for? So she is doing great. And Paige today said Micah after Micah told her, Paige say Micah. <laughs> It's a fun craft. I highly recommend it. Even if you didn't start it this year, you can still catch up. There's still plenty of time before Thanksgiving. Um, or yeah, just, just keep do it. Two a day. Yeah, just do two a day. Or or even just do like ten or however many it is until Thanksgiving. It's still super fun. And uh, if you don't start this year, I highly recommend it for like next year. It's a really fun little craft. Something to keep your kids looking forward to the holiday, but also thinking about um, just the gratitude behind it. Line up, everybody, line up, line up, line up, everybody, let's go outside. We have some of these. Okay, hold that. Here, do you need help, Paige? I know you you aren't Mom, can quite I the best me? at going down steps yet. Can you help me? <clears throat> yes, I'm I can. Okay, I'll help you. Way. Yeah, good idea. So that we don't spill them, I'll teach you a trick. Come here, Paige. All right, wait, hold on. I gotta get the bubble thing out. I gotta get it out. Oh my goodness, this is stuck. Oh, oopsies. Mommy spilled. Okay, I got it. Yes, good job. <laughs> yeah, good job, Micah. Bubbles. Okay, Mommy's gonna go wash her hands. Can you do some bubbles for Paige? Paige, you look so cute. <laughs> Bubbles! Are you getting better? Wow, look at all that practice you've been doing. I know, That's she can really blow good. real good right now. Good job, step on them Paige, stomp on them. It's stomp, been, stomp, stomp. It's been so long since we've been out here on our deck. Whoopsies. <laughs> Careful, Micah. <laughs> Wait, Paige, don't step on those. Hold up. Give ourselves, look at this. Look at these views we got. I know. We got a beautiful Are sunset. Are we sure we want to leave? <laughs> Man, I just need to step out here and enjoy the fresh air. Well, it's been so while. like sporadic. It's been really cold. And then yeah. yesterday was like Stop. upper 60s yeah. almost. and. It's just all over the place. It's like you can't acclimate yourself to the weather right now. <laughs> that lot that we were looking at, we've been doing a lot of back and forth with the actual builder and trying to get details. They're probably really annoyed with us, but they finally sent over some details of what the house is gonna be like. Austin's gonna show me here soon. He has a really hesitant look on his face. I don't know, it's just a very bold choice. It's a spec home, so it's not a custom build. But I'm, mm. it's just a lot of bold choices and I don't know if I like bold. I'm bold. a very, I'm a very safe person. Yeah, we don't know. Oh, now you've got me nervous we'll and see. worried. We'll see. Maybe it's not so, maybe it's not so bold. Maybe I'm just a baby. I don't know. Can we look now? Do we have to wait? Can they just play with their bubbles and we I, look I, I personally need some time with my girls. Okay. I've been working too much today. Yeah, you have been. <laughs> bubbles! Hear that? Is that a big plane? No. What is it? It's thunder. Thunder? I don't think that's thunder. <laughs> Are you warm enough? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, you tell me if you get cold. Pop, pop, pop. Bubbles, pop, 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 pop. Oh, baby, what good I got? What do you got? <laughs> Bubbles. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Macy! <laughs> there they are! Are you gonna go get Mapesy? <laughs> get him, Micah, get him! Woo! Get him, Paige! He's moving around enough to stay warm. <laughs> Paige, those have already been popped. <laughs> Get him! Whoa, big bubbles! Oh my gosh. Paige, you just look like a giant coat with feet. <laughs> Where even 
where are you? Where? <laughs> Can you even see? <laughs> I'm not convinced. <laughs> I don't think she can see. Get him! Paige, look! Bye Get him, Paige! Get him, Micah! <gasps> look, big ones! Oh my gosh. Stop, stop. Stop. All right, mommy might be uh, all bubble blowing out. <laughs> oh, okay, you guys, relief. We have relief. After looking through like all this design stuff, we feel good. It's not as bold as we originally thought. In fact, I wouldn't even really call it very bold to begin with. I'd just say it's like kind of modern in a way, but not even that much. For whatever reason, the camera is pulling out a lot of green tones and that's not actually the case, but the kitchen cabinets are gonna be white. This would be the flooring, um, and this is what Austin was a little worried about, these matte black well, poles. Well, not just those. The poles are fine. Yeah, it's like all the little lot. tiny matte black accessories around the house. Like there's black, this matte black hexagonal tile that they're gonna put in the house. Yeah. There's also matte black lights, matte black faucets, um, all sorts of stuff. Just yeah. And stuff I mean, that I'm not used to. I'm normally used to chrome or brushed steel or right something like that. But we found some photos, and I'll show you in a second, of like these actual things in existing homes. So I think it's going to look really good. So this wouldn't be like the actual kitchen, but there would be the stainless um, appliances. There's these pool pools that are going to be matte black, like Austin was worried about. The pendants are going to be a little bit different. They are actually going to be a they're bit gonna bold. Be, they're going to be, what is it, brushed aluminum? Something like that. They're like brushed aluminum, which is kind of like, I'd almost prefer black at that point. I don't know. Yeah, that's like something It's like I, a weird, I'm there's sure some of, weird things I'm not but, entirely sold on. I'm sure it'll be beautiful, though. That's the thing is like, I'm not an interior designer. My stupid brain can't, can't connect the dots together. and piece it together. Yeah. But I can guarantee when it's all said and done, it's probably going to be beautiful and I'll yeah. just be an idiot for complaining about it. And probably a very similar countertop color. So all kind of light bright um and the floor will be that different lighter brown like we showed you but but definitely not as bold as we expected something that austin was really concerned about was the bathrooms and i don't know how exact this one is going to be but i do know that it's pretty dang close austin hates like having the two things to decide water temperature he'd much rather just have that one that you like switch both ways but these will be the exact faucets that we have. I mean, it is a good look, that's the thing, but I hate the functionality. I like being able to just one-handed, you know, you know exactly where to pull it to to get the right temperature. Yeah. You're not messing around with two different handles to try You know try what I've and... realized, babe, is that we keep saying, like, we will have. Like, like, we've already bought the house. <laughs> Well, I like to put myself in a in that yeah I in know. a realistic state. Like if I, uh, this is going to be my house, I'm going to pretend like it's my house. I don't know. I feel like I'm, I'm getting my hopes high for something that may not be ideal for us, and so I need to calm it back a little bit. Regardless, this is not nearly as bold as you made me feel at first because I was like, oh my gosh, like if it looks terrible we're, well, when we're not I saw, buying this house. When I saw the matte black tile, I was like, that's a bold look. But then we realized it's only in a small set Two of small areas. small rooms, yeah. Like, I was thinking it was going to be throughout all the bathrooms, including our master, and I'm like, that is a that's lot. That's a bold, yeah, that's pretty bold. But that, it's not, not bad. I don't hate that look, but it is pretty bold. <sighs> all this stuff is like overwhelming in a way. I'm ready to be done thinking about houses. I, I like. We just started. Know, what are just, you talking about? <laughs> we actually very exciting. We are going to look at a few existing homes in just a couple of days, hoping that we find something that really opens our eyes to other things. Because we've we've only looked at a couple houses as of now. Um, we've been getting a lot of information on this new build, just because the information is there. All the other houses, we can see pictures, um, but no detail like we've seen with this other house. And I think that's why we've kind of, um, at least I have been kind of getting excited about it, because there's a lot that I love, but there's also the big backyard issue. There's the unfinished basement issue. There's a lot that, that, 
it just doesn't work, I guess. I don't know. Well, I mean, that's every house, but we'll make it work. Yeah, that's, that's true. Thing, is like, every house is going to have things that we don't like, so. Oh man, give me a hug. I do feel like there is a long road ahead of us. I hope there's not a long road ahead of us. I want to just find a house and move. We hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and we will see you next time. Bye friends, Bye. love you.